Cuzzo said it perfectly. We got here because we all didn't care. We didn't prioritize this. For so long, we've been just relying on, oh, Barack Obama's going to take care of us. Bill Clinton's going to take care of us. Hillary's going to take care of us. Joe Biden's going to take care of us. No, we have to take care of ourselves and stop relying on other people and stop allowing other people to tell us that we're victims, to tell us that, oh, without your, without our help, you know, you, you, we can't expect you to be successful. It's not a level playing field. They're pushing DEI. Why don't you push purpose? Don't push DEI, push purpose. When, when, when kids, especially young men, are given a purpose, they will do anything, anything to, to live out. How can I put it? How can I put it? When, see, see, it's like we, young kids don't need handouts. People are not going to learn from handouts. Yeah, matter of fact, let me show you all this video that I just saw. Maybe the video will, will tell the story about what I'm talking about as far as purpose a little bit better than what I'm saying. Um, let me show y'all this. Hold on. Let me show y'all this. I came across this video. Matter of fact, it was on Instagram. Hold on. Let me show y'all this video. This is what I mean as far as purpose. Like, forget giving people handouts. Forget, give people a purpose. When, when we're on a sports team and we know that we're going against a team that's way better than us, that is a private school that recruits in high school, it doesn't matter, bro. We still going into that game. Yo, we finna win. Yes, everything's lined up against us. Yes, we sh technically on paper should lose. Yes, but at the end of the day, when you tell kids and you're just real with them and say like, yo, this is, the, this, is, this is the preparation that we're going through. We're the underdog. We probably should be the underdog, but in our minds, we never will be the underdog. Like you, you get what I'm saying? Like this is our purpose. And when you give people that purpose, people, that's, that's when miracles happen. That's when miracles happen. All right, let me show y'all this. This video. I thought male depression. Men, male depression gets treated like female depression. Men are made to feel loved and accepted when all they want to do is feel capable and powerful. He used this example of the Blitz in World War II. Before the war started, there were these psychiatric wards and they had patients in. These patients had been uh, catatonic for years, totally comatose, unresponsive. Then the Blitz starts. So there were fires and there were injuries all over London and there were ambulances and fire engines and there was no one to drive them. Hmm. These men, who had been catatonic for five years and a decade, got up, put their shoes on, mm. and started driving fire engines and ambulances. These men that had been unresponsive for years and years and years. Mm. And give a man a purpose and the ability to achieve it, and he will crawl over broken glass with mm -hmm. a smile. Male depression. Give a man a purpose and the ability to achieve it, and he will crawl over broken glass with a smile. And I don't know if y'all caught the first part of the video. A lot of these people, they're always talking about mental health, and when we approach it, in a very feminine way to treat men. Men need purpose. We need something to believe in. We need something that we feel that we're a part of, camaraderie, something that we're working towards building. That's what men need. That's the inspiration that men need. But instead, what do we always do? We always feminize everything because the, the goal is to not even, the goal isn't to build strong men, but we know what that's all about. All right, so let's move on to the next topic. Let's move on to the next topic. What do we got on here? Dr. Casey Means. Ew, ew, it's Dak. Just want to thank you for checking out our video and visiting the OG Network. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure that you give us a like. And if you're looking to join a community of inspired individuals striving for purposeful abundance, subscribe. And if you're feeling real generous, share the video with some friends and family. All right, I'll see y'all soon. Ew.